welcome to make a statement. And remember, in your daily lives, that simply making a statement can make a difference. This is your host, Whitehurst. What's up? And welcome to make a statement. Where making a statement can truly make a difference. We certainly live in a day and time where you can simply make a statement and that statement can go viral and that statement can cause a ripple effect all across the nation, all across the world. Just making a statement can make a difference. Um, I want to continue uh, on my statement and, I'm, and I got to quit saying, uh, I'm not editing my videos uh, this day. There's the uh, again. I'm not going to edit my videos starting out because I want you to see the genuineness of this and, and, and see, uh, there's another, uh, me put, 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 whatever. Look, I have some notes right here to continue my statement as far as the divide in the black community. I told you I was, I was going to deal with some specific leaders. So we've dealt with Barack Obama, and I'm sick and tired of those mental pauses. I keep saying of, and I know my English teacher, Ms. Matthews at Dothan High School, my 12th grade year, taught me not to use mental pauses when I'm talking. And that's something that I noticed and critiqued President Obama on when he first started running for the presidency, uh, he would, there I am, there, there's no, uh, he would get interviewed and he would say, uh, 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 and it was amazing, but it kind of helped a lot of people out too, because it, it makes you not feel too bad about, uh, but I still feel bad about, uh, which is a mental pause. And so I try not to use mental pauses, but I'm not going to edit videos. So there is a divide in the African American community, and and there there's always been a little bit of a divide in or rift schism whatever in the African American community. You have Baptists sometimes against Methodists. You have Methodists sometimes not agreeing with Church of God in Christ. All of these different denominations. Then you finally have non-denominational churches, and then everybody has something to say about them. We cannot go far as a people, as a culture, if we are divided. And uh, make a statement is, is by no means a racial uh, type of, there's another, uh, a racial uh, se segment or internet show. But the issue that I'm dealing with in the statement that I'm making, you can come on, make a statement, get in front of your webcam on any issue that you want to. If you want to get on here and, and tell rappers to stop setting this trend of sagging and looking like a retard on stage because our young people are following that trend and that's why they're acting like fools and being the hootlings because they want to be like Lil Wayne and other, other rich folks who act like fools but in the background they're going to get their degrees and they say that they're real and they're not really real and they're rapping about their brother's lives and not their life, you know. If you want to make a statement about all that stuff, that's cool. We can have that here and make a statement. You know what I mean? So let's talk about it. But my statement, I'm going to deal with some stuff that I care about. And um, right now, politics is is a high priority. God first, then the family, the wife, and all of that. But the passion, uh, along with ministering the gospel, I got to make a difference. So it really doesn't matter to me what other people think about me, or say about me. It does matter, but I, I don't worry about it. And I'm rambling on. I'm, I'm just talking to you for a little bit. But whatever. I told you I was going to deal with some key leaders and let them know that we don't want to divide in the African-American community. How can we continue to go forward? We have first black president in office. I mean, I just don't understand how we how how we can uh, be as powerful as we need to be if we are divided against each other. Just doesn't make sense. 
So we don't want our leaders divided. And some of those key leaders that we need to discuss, of course, we're going to start with the president, Barack Obama, and what he can do uh, to lessen the blow of the divide. And then we're going to talk about Al Sharpton and what I call the Al Sharpton and Steve Harvey category. And we cool with all of them, you know. And then we're going to talk about Tavis Smiley uh, category. And uh, we're going to deal uh, with them as well. So... That's what we're going to do. And I'll be back and make a statement. The next statement I'll make will be on Al Sharpton and the Steve Harvey category.